So the very last music learning technique I really want to talk about is this idea of budgeting and momentum. Um, it's just this idea that even if you know, once you know like all the best music learning techniques, you're a master learner, it still takes time. It still takes time and energy because music is a language and any language that you learn is going to take usually a substantial amount of time to really get down. Um, so one thing I really like to do with my language students is I like to explain to them that the, the CIA uh, and a lot of government agencies use a system to teach their employees, usually diplomats, foreign languages for their job. And they have to know about how much it's going to cost to do this because they have to do it a lot. So it's a path that they've charted a million times and it's, they got fairly well down. And they literally have a predictable number of classroom hours for different languages and how long they think it's going to take to get them down. And so what, what you do is you take the language you're starting at and which language you're going to and you assess it based on that because some languages are more similar than others and if you already know a language that's similar to the one you're learning you don't have to learn as much. It's called cognancy. So like English and Dutch have a lot of cognancy. They have a lot of similar words. They have very similar grammar and word orders and it's about 600 classroom hours, according to the CIA, to learn English to Dutch. And, I mean, that's, and that's about as short as it gets. That's about the shortest one that there is. Um, even that, that's quite a bit of time. 600 hours, like if you have a full-time job, that's, you know, that's three months of a full-time job. Um, so it's still a substantial amount of work. Uh, and, and it's like music is a language, you know, and it's like, in a way, it's not similar to any other languages that we do. It's kind of its own thing. So when you're learning music, I mean, depending on how hard the music is you want to do, it can take different amounts of time. My ukulele course that gets people kind of up and playing songs pretty quickly, it can get people playing a lot of good music in 20 hours, like really like strumming and really playing songs the whole way through at tempo. 20 hours is enough to get decent at the ukulele. Um, learning to play classical guitar takes a lot more. It takes thousands of hours to be able to play complex. If you want to like, you know, play like the D minor chaconne, it's a really famous but really difficult piece by Bach. You know, it's going to take you thousands of hours to get up to that level because you usually can't just start with that piece. It's really hard to play one piece well just by playing it a million times. You have to learn a lot about the language from learning a lot of different things. So when you start working on a music learning project, you want to kind of budget your momentum and say, okay, even with, you know, even once I know the music learning techniques, am I putting enough energy in to actually learn this thing? And that's where working with a teacher is really, really useful. And so this is why I've really also gotten into my concept of the 20 hour intensive is, you know, in modern life, people have time, people have money, but they don't know how to actually like feel the sense of like I'm accomplishing something because a lot of the things they want to do actually take a lot more time than they really would initially want to put in. If I said, it's going to take you 10,000 hours to do what you want to do, they'd be like, Bye-bye. Sayonara. Like, they don't really want to do it. But realistically, it doesn't actually matter if you're willing to budget the time initially because as long as you get going, if what you want to do is have a hobby that you enjoy and to learn from, it doesn't really matter whether you're going to get to your goal or not. You just start moving towards it in a way that feels satisfying. So what I've done is I've really gotten into this idea of the 20-hour intensive saying, I'm going to take one area of music learning. I'm going to take strumming ukulele songs. It looks like this. learning how to do a lot of songs that are kind of similar to that, I kind of put them all together in a little course that says, okay, you're going to just learn like 30 riffs that go like this, and you're going to spend just 20 hours on that, and then you're done. However far you get, after 20 hours, you're done. And that's like a very like committable thing that a lot of people can do. They're like, oh, I've got a weekend. You can do that in two weekends, um, no problem. And uh, it's very discreet, it's very manageable, the bites are very understandable. Um, it's easier for people to get into than this idea of, I'm going to master ukulele. It's like, where do you start? There's a million places you could start, and the amount of like energy you spend on just deciding where to start will make you give up. So a lot of the idea that I focused on is like encouraging people to budget their momentum, is to say, how much do you really want to put into this? Um, how much time are you willing to let that be spread over? and then budgeting a realistic amount of energy to the thing you want to accomplish. And then if you're just like, yeah, if you over time you want to get really far in something, breaking things down into like 10 or 20 hour projects that you can do. And that's a lot of what I'm building right now. And if you want to learn more about those, check out my website. You can ask me to build one for you. Um, I ask people to kind of like support me through Patreon to help me do that. But it's a project I'm really enjoying doing. And it really kind of helps people 
get going with stuff because it helps you figure out, okay, how much energy is this really going to take to do what I want to do? And then brings it within reach and makes it a realistic goal.